Hey guys, okay, today I want to talk about Pixel because recently I received quite a number of inquiries regarding um, I call this trouble pixel events tracking and all that. It seems to be like for example, right? Um, uh, this I have 227 initial checkout. Obviously, I don't have that many. So this is actually kind of like I cannot say it's false reporting. It could be because of some other reason. So how do we get to this page? Yeah, very simple. You just need to go to your left sidebar. You go to your business tool, right? Go inside your business setting under data sources. You can either click into event manager directly or you can go into the pixel that you're looking at and then you click on the event manager. So when you're in that, you'll be able to see this page now. Uh, this is how we actually want to quickly diagnose, uh, see what is going on because I think it's probably because of the recent uh, certain updates on Facebook site, right? A lot of things kind of messed up. So uh, I'm going to use this initial checkout as an example. This is my own website, right? Travel Academy. We don't have, I wish I have that many initial checkout um, but obviously the numbers spike for some reason so okay that's the easiest way is you go into the pic, uh, the event that you want to track and you click on this view details now when you click on view details you'll be able to see that okay um, these are the data that they're actually tracking okay now something may not show so other than that you can go into the manage event now the other one okay when you go into manage event then they will tell you that look this is the event that was set up for that particular event so you say that the button text is joined you see the website that I have uh, has got a join button so when they say join Facebook pixel picks it up as a conversion so this is actually a totally wrong thing so that's why in order to actually do things right right what you need can do here is you can actually click on this open event setup tool okay and then uh, you actually okay we go into that particular website okay then we can quickly go through this again so this is where you know people come into the FAA so they say that this button they actually kind of track all the join now button as a conversion so this is completely wrong so you, you probably want to set up more properly, like for example, this is, this is the, uh, what do we call a content view page where when people click on this, then only it's considered checkout. So you want to set up again, okay, doing this as a, con you know, this is actually the checkout. So what you can do here is you can come back to this, right? So let's say it go into the initial checkout, manage event, okay, open setup tool, you go for this instead. So this is actually the checkout. So when you go into the checkout, so it will bring you to that particular page again. So this this is actually the event setup tool. Uh, Facebook recently, not so long ago, they launched this and uh, it's quite powerful, I would say. So this is it. Okay, when they are here, okay, uh, yeah, refresh back to another one. So uh, yeah, then after that, you can choose, don't track button because um, button can be deceptive. Like for example, one of the recent cases I did for e-commerce website, uh, it, because in their product showing viewing page, right? Every product, they have this add to cut, add to cut button. You know, when you see a product, you because they put, the, they put the call to action button as add to cut. So when you do that, okay, eventually when people click add to cut, in fact, essentially it is view product. But when they click add to cut, uh, the pixel fires that as a add to cart. So too smart also no good. So basically you want to track a URL instead. So, okay, now this is actually the checkout, right? You probably want to go for URL contains because for some scenario, uh, probably when it comes from some advertisement and all that, it would actually contains a string of uh, parameters at the back. So you want to make sure that it actually track this root one and then uh, they capture the rest as part of it as well. So this is actually an initial checkout. Okay, so you do URL contains, don't go equal. Equal means it has to be exact. So if you have something at the string at the back, right, uh, it falls apart. Okay, so we come back to this, we go for contains. And if you don't have the value, specific value, you just keep it as that, that way. So you click confirm, then we are pretty much done. Okay, so this is how uh, we set up this as a, what do we call? Um, custom like it's not a custom conversion it's actually a conversion setup tool that captures that at already so we refresh again and then this initial checkout right we just did the initial checkout thing and 
yeah then we come back to this basically initial checkout we click back to manage event okay then you see this is there already URL contains the FAA checkout and this one since this is not the right one let's remove this then this is a clean pixel this is pretty much well done so you probably want to go through a kind of like a you know, reset thing to, to, to make sure that your pixel is firing the right one so this could be one of the reason why you're not seeing the right number reflecting and everything here and there you see so yeah I hope this helps this is Jason and uh, if you want more tips uh, about Facebook advertising and digital marketing remember to hit the subscribe button I'll see you in the next video thanks bye